Hey guys, and welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be playing some Life is Strange True Colors. I can't wait to play this freaking game. I've seen a little bit of the game, but I want to play through the whole fucking game. Because from the other Life is Strange games, I think this is going to be a damn good game. So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your... issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. Everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. See. Life is Strange True Colors. Amazing. Okay, here's one gripe I got with this game is I wish we had a little bit more backstory on Alex. Upon Alex. Just a little bit more backstory. On her. And now we get two new characters. Well, and say that side a chapter one side a the bridge I can't wait to see him. Ooh, I love this game already. And yes, yeah, sorry about some of the frame hitches and buffers. I'm running this game at as high of quality as as high of quality as you think. So every detail is cranked to the max. Wow. Yes. Sir. We are in Life is Strange. I'm not leaving the Zen moment for a little bit. Cause I want to see all the shit on how good this game actually freaking looks. Now if I ran this at 4k, holy shit. Freaking amazing. Holy shit. That's really him. <laughs> oh, what's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years?
I'm cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hug him. Crushing my ribs still part of the protocol. <laughs> it's just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it. She's all grown up. I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. Are you ready to see the town? Hell yeah, let's rock and roll. I don't know why I said that. Me neither. <laughs> but I love the enthusiasm. Okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey, Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Leith, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Welcome. Oh. We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. Honestly, just take it. She seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. Welcome big, to Haven. The big town of Haven. Oh. <laughs> if I could quantify the freaking excitement that I have for this game. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Holy shit. Is this the first official <clears throat> stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find a prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> hey, Gabe. Riley, meet my sister, Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh yeah? What would you do? I would be honest. It's usually harder, but then you come off as more authentic. Called it. Wow. You two wow. are already wonder twinning your way through town. Seems that way. <laughs> Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? Sunflowers, because they're her favorite. Love sunflowers? Go with the sunflowers. That's what I was thinking. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab? Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we leave. Mandatory for any enchanted garden.
This gnome has been places. <laughs> Gnome with sunglasses. Perfect. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh, God, please stop. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> the tiny house movement is really taking off. I already love this game. I hope Charlotte likes the sunflowers. If I could quantify the freaking excitement that I have for this game, oh my freaking god. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. It might. Aw, I wonder who they are. Cute, right? Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. Does anyone actually sit in the decorative store chair? How to Kill Everything You Touch. A flower book by Alex Chen. Honestly, the shrieking. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. <laughs> hey, ladies, what are you mm. drinking? I love this. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. God dang. Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? That's a shame. It's Riley and brother. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. Yeah. How long have you and Charlotte been dating? Mm, about three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Wow. Well, here we are. Wow. Good to know. <laughs> so, stuff just explodes around here every now and then. Sometimes you can feel it all the way down here. Intense. Uh. Wow. Just wow. Uh, what the shit is goat yoga? Yoga with goats. Welcome to Colorado. Local beekeeper breaks state record for total number of bees. Stop the presses. Hey, don't hate. How many bees do you have? Uh, last time I checked, like zero bees. I bet Gabe keeps the flower shop in business all by himself. Gabe Chen. 
Flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. Go get him. It's gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh, hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? <laughs> She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. I don't know. Vanishing of my kind of power. Vanishing is my kind of power, or I prefer Ring of Fire. I'm gonna go X. I wanted to turn invisible so bad when I was a kid still do sometimes to be honest you can get away with anything if you're invisible and no one can stop you if you like comics i can show you the one i'm making i'd love to see it You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. Oh, no. A bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Oh man. I shouldn't have told you that. I know we just met, but be careful out there, okay? You don't need to worry. Really. Oh, but sure you worry. Check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. I think she'll worry about him. Rocky Mountain Record to Traders. Holy crap, we are in the story. Wow. We can't freaking believe that I'm in this story. This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. No way. Uh oh. Oh, uh. Unicorn sandwich or a zombie? Let's go with unicorn sandwich. of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. Some chick. I'm 
sorry, the store's actually closed right now. Which is confusing because it's obviously open. Wait. Are you Alex? That dude. That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since forever. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? I've seen some cool things so far. Like, mm. this record store is amazing. I didn't expect anything like this here. Yep, it's a cultural landmark for sure. So, the store is closed, but they opened <laughs> it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... Real... Nerdy. The nerdiest thing I've ever seen. And I owned two Schoolhouse Rock albums. I'd lie and say it was for my work, but... No, it's totally for fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well, bummer the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. I should have just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you don't work here? Step won't mind. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. <clears throat> Damn. I know I saw it before. Want to help me look? Sure. Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? No idea. Steph leaves stuff all over the place. Ninth Warden, hero of the Intergalactic Peace Wars. Uh, that's cute. That's cute. And friend to lonely children everywhere. Okay, Steph. Let's see what you're into. I'm detecting an indie pattern. Okay. A seriously obscure indie pattern. Color me impressed. Wow. Just wow. I actually cannot believe that I'm actually in. Wait. Is that the hold list? Don't freak out. I'm just gonna. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away. If we can find it. Give me a hand. Any luck finding that cat toy? Not yet. <laughs> so, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? I think Gabe's gotten so emo that he doesn't like instruments anymore. Just dudes screaming and crying into the microphone. Oh uh. God, let's hope not. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. 
Let's see if we can find that cat. Toy. Tantine. Wow. Looks like a toy could live here. What if he exclusively listens to Smash Mouth? Wait for it. Cover bands. Ugh. I disown him. <laughs> You could check the register. Okay, but what if it's three unbroken hours of improvisational jazz flute? That he listens to while writing scathing film reviews? Yeah, and sipping a $50 Americano. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Alas, no toy. No toy. Please have the toy. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> Maybe that drawer? It could be Celine Dion's greatest hits. You mean the essential Celine Dion? She is the Canadian treasure. Ah, uh, snow cat toy. Mm, nothing. Prime cat toy real estate. What about the top shelf? What if it's the original Broadway cast recording of Cats? <laughs> At least that'd be ironic. No toy to be seen. I know. Maybe in the junk box. And we have a winner. Good guess. <laughs> Be safe out there. If I die a horrible cat related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna wait until the cat's done and look around the rest of the music store. Emergency guitar. In case of sweet jam sesh, break glass. Chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility, Alex. <laughs> wow. I did a report on Jane Eyre once in high school. I'd love to actually read the book one day. I love that this town has their own radio station. Colorado digs its alt rock, I see. I know we're taking a little bit of time to go look through the store, but honestly. Is it wrong that the note makes me want to touch it more? Are you trying to die? <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen. You're just lucky Steph's behind a soundproof wall. Hey, luck or not, I've officially cheated death. <laughs> it's been so long since I've played. Gabe and I used to dream about cutting demos all the time as kids. Never got there. Perpetual motion. Looks exhausting. In these troubling times, the world could really use more rock songs with clarinet solos. How do I get a rich Polish clarinetist to buy me things? I'll, let, I'll read that one we're editing. But I think that's... No. Now there's a radio contest I might actually be able to win. I'm just gonna... Apparently, plants can feel pain. But can they cry sing all of melancholy <laughs> and the infinite sadness in bed? I don't think so. You're not the boss uh, of me, poster. Honestly, this freaking... Standing on stage in front of a crowd of strangers? Fuck, creepy crawlies. 
That's the stuff of nightmares. Just wow. I spend hours sitting here. Maybe I. Let's listen. Oh, so this is copyright music status. Okay. So that's copyright music status. How very small town. Just looking at this freaking game is amazing. Okay, now we can lure the cat away. <laughs> Who's the superior mammal now? <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. Game 10, Kings of Leon. Should have known. Seriously? Seriously? Dave and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? He was a badass. Actually, he was a pretty badass older brother. He smoked cigarettes, which at the time I thought was awesome. And he somehow managed to get his first tattoo when he was 12. Legend only grows. All right, you're looking at 20 even. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. Do you have no. any idea how much time I put into this? You just, no, dude, mm. I can't go over there. I'm working. She feels other people's feelings. It's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had. I can watch the boost if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? Well, you have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no bird calls though. I'll be there. One sec. <sighs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Okay. Sorry. I was just a little thrown for a moment. Thanks. You got it. <sighs> Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'd be great friends. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? Talking about birds. You know, talking about bird calls and bird call related media. This guy really loves his birds. Guilty. Guilty. You know we're trying to keep her in Haven, right? Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. <laughs> and this dude hands me the best beers? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, by the way, 
Mac was in here earlier, and uh, he really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Tag along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. And I should check in. Do you mind? No, yeah, of course. What up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Hey. One week to the LARP, you stoked? Hell yeah. Had a boy. No, we gotta talk road trips next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we driving with Steph? We'll see. She's a GM, so she's gotta be in Denver pretty early. What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kinda wanna hang out at home. Is that okay? Do you, man. <laughs> But I'm gonna check that homework later tonight, though. You better be done, Capiche. Capiche, good to meet you. Yeah, same. See you around. So weird seeing you do the dad thing. Your dad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> uh, we trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Char. Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. He trusted me to keep his secret. Should I? Or should I blow his cover? I think so. I watched Brad, so I watched one of Brad's videos. And he, I think he kept. I'm just gonna, t I'm gonna tell Gabe. I should probably tell you something. Shoot. Earlier when Ethan and I were talking, he mentioned exploring some old mine. Oh, man. He seemed like he knew what he was doing, but I thought you'd want to know. <laughs> this fucking kid. I'm going to tell Charlotte. Just give me a sec. Ooh, Ethan's in trouble. Really? We'll see. I appreciate you telling me. You did the right thing. What do you say we get you settled in? Yeah, that probably wasn't the right thing to do, but... Yeah. It was the right thing to do. Telling him that. So, this is what a mining town looks like. Thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. With soot all over their faces? Exactly. What do they mine here, though? Used to be silver back in the day. And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Oh. Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. Sounds like it. Look who it is. Jed! Hey, got someone I want you to meet. Alex, this is my buddy Jed. Bloody hell, will you listen to this horse shit? His boss, he means. You on the Black Lantern. For the last 12 years or so. It's good to meet you, Alex. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Oh? Only bad stuff. Mostly lies. Your brother's full of shit, you know that? <laughs> he just about wet himself waiting for you to get here. I was excited to see him too. Guess we're an almost wet yourself kind of family. Ha! I like her. Yeah, she's okay, I guess. We're heading in. You coming? Uh, in a minute. 
Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. He tell you about the festival yet? Not in detail. I'll fill you in later. You do not want to get this guy started. I'm loquacious, goddammit. It's charming. Oh, before you leave, word of warning. Max got that old bug up his ass again. So I've heard. Yeah. So just, you know, eyes open. Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, pleasure. I'll mind, Jed. So, spring festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot cooler than it sounds. Not possible. I'm picturing some straight up wicker man shit. Oh, you've been before. The Black Lantern. <laughs> oh Shit, man. This is all yours? Don't sound so surprised. It's really nice. You said that you had a nice place. I was picturing small but homey. Well then, welcome to my crib. <laughs> Seriously, this is great. And the best part is, it's actually yours. I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now. I love it. Gabe, I love it. Good. I mean it. I don't know what to say say thank you or maybe you're the best or I'm definitely naming my first and third born children Gabriel or Gabriela <laughs> sure thing didn't we already do the whole staring at me thing it's just, you look a lot like how I imagine you'd be. Yeah? Do I look how you expected? You haven't really changed. Really? You still look 15. Look, shut up. I mean, obviously you're like a man, dude. But you still have the same facial expressions and stuff. You're still you. Mm hmm Thanks. Which is good, because if you weren't still you, I'd have to give your gift to someone else. Wait, what? No. Surprise. Wait, is this... This is the album I requested. I know. I'm good. I was going to get this for you. Well, I got it for you first, so I get the credit. So there's some copyrighted music here. Not the dancing too. But I think this is going to be a new series on the channel until I finish the game. Just because I love the Life is Strange series. And I think I'm going to bring the um, first two games into this. God, I can't get over this. Feels just like old times. Oh no. Stop that. I can't. It's too late. <laughs> I think we'll bring that first. Go get him, 
bro. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Lifetime of practice. <laughs> oh no. Your turn. Fine. Nice. But I think we'll bring the other two games in as a series too. You haven't lost a beat. <laughs> Oh no. Just give me a sec. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Mac. It's Mac. Can I help you? Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. I thought you were fucking my girlfriend. Dude, I promise you've got it all wrong. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your no. ass. No. 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 No, 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 not here. No, no, not here. It's not my place, man. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking to you. Stop. Stop. Gabe, I didn't. Hey, it's okay. Mm, okay. I kind of deserved it, though. Psycho. You could both go fuck yourselves. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Fuck. I really do feel bad for Alex. I'm not gonna lie. Alex, it's fine. I gotta go stop my shift. Great. I really do feel bad for Alex. I do. Because no one should ever be put in that position like she is. I'm okay. I'm okay.
I guess I might as well unpack. Um, but I think this is where you're going to end our first part of this game. I, I, I honestly love this game. Not going to lie. I think what we're going to do is bring the life is strange and life is strange before the storm back into this whole thing. I them two games are I would say my two favorite games out of the Life is Strange. I would say this is the third contender or the second contender. I don't know cuz I haven't played much of this game yet. I've watched a little bit of the game, not going to lie. And I'm not going to bring any spoilers into this. I will bring my absolute unknown opinion about this game, but I already love it. But Thank you guys so much for watching part one of this series and we'll be back with part two sometime very, very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your week or day whenever I will, will um, what you want to call it, but thank you guys so much for watching.